I kind of try to be like Dre. We all have to play our own game, and that's how it works. How much does this run you guys are on now just kind of validate your decision to come back for the season? It's good, man. It's good. Uh, people ask me about, you know, my stats aren't the same as last year, but I'd rather take this over when, I mean, over that, you know? You know, you're winning and things like that. And um, I haven't looked at it. I'm pretty sure I would probably still be in reach of everything I really want to do. So um, to be able to get both would be insane um, and a blessing. That's what I came back for. So. With that said, is this the biggest game coming up in your career? You think? Yeah, of course, Smith says it is. It is. <laughs> <laughs> but That's it good answer. Is. It definitely is. Um, I've never played at Michigan State, but seeing those historic great games that have gone on in that stadium. Um, I've always wanted to be a part of something like that, to be very honest. Um, you know, to see them come out in that green, it, it's good to see you going against that. It's, it's actually nice, man. And I can't wait to just go on the battle with those guys and let um, the chips fall in there. Reggie, I know you guys have had the mindset all season that you guys were turning the corner, things are getting better. Now that it's actually showing in the wind column and on the field, What's, mo what's your motivation going into these last three games, starting with the one Saturday at Michigan State? Same thing, man. Um, nobody believes in us. Uh, we have ourselves. There's people that still doubt us. It is what it is. Uh, but this is where we thrive at. You know? um, we've been underdogs our entire lives. So I think we just go out there, you know, no added motivation, just keep it ourselves and play our game. Is there any... 13-point underdogs on Saturday? Oh, Did you know that? Does that surprise you? Yeah, I kind of like it that way, yeah. to be very honest. Why? Um, people that bet on us win a lot of money, <laughs> you know? So, you know, hopefully win a lot of money for them. You mentioned, you mentioned the doubters and people that still, you know, have doubts of the program. Is it... I mean, I'm, I'm sure you're not the type of person that wants to say, hey, I told you so or whatever, but... No. Uh, just what's your message to those people, you know, now that you know, Illinois is uh, over 500 mm -hmm. and even in the Big Ten? What's your message to those people? Uh, we just appreciate you. Uh, you guys are the ones that drove us. Uh, thank you. I mean, people tell me I suck all the time. I see it on Twitter. It is what it is. Like, I, I love it. You know, we, we thrive off of it. It's, it's great. Um, that's how life goes, man. Um, if everyone believed in you, that'd be bad. That would be a scary thing. Because when you fall, it goes all the way down. So it's good. You know, we appreciate those people. Uh, we appreciate um, the guys that really believe in us and everybody that's been with us this entire time. So. This might be a minor question, but it, how much of a difference is running on grass compared to turf? Because you got grass field. Is it is actually different. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what does that just do for what type of cut you want to make or anything like that? None of that. It no. just feels better when you fall. True. The grass feels way better when you fall. You know, but it's it depends on what grass it is. Yeah. Like, UConn had the greatest grass I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> I don't know how, but um, Purdue's grass was a little bit harder, um, even with the rain. But it, it was it was good because it didn't like, come up a lot as fast as we thought it would. Do you think it's good, too, that in the last two